have five French players into the last 16 of the men's singles. It was a question we asked Fabrice earlier in the week, and he sort of he shrugged his shoulders in that Gallic kind of a way and went, would you rather have one person, as in Andy Murray, who was a genuine contender for Grand Slam championships, or would you rather have five in the last 16? Well, I going to say that I think they've got two very genuine contenders to win it anyway in Monfils and Songa at any slam and this is arguably the hardest slam for them to win it at because of the surface not because they're playing at home so I would say that they still have two but yeah well, ideal, ideally you would love to have people challenge it for it but if, if you to ask me in the last few years definitely would have rather had Andy and nobody else than, than what the French have, have clearly had. By the way, he's an amateur compared to Gail, isn't he, in terms of the drama out there, Gasquet? <laughs> he, he's going to have to work on that. He is. What about you, Sam? Where do you sit on that? Can I shrug in a very British way? <laughs> Essex way. An Essex way, I don't know. <laughs> I think that was the Essex shrug, in case you didn't recognise it. That, that was the only way. That was the only way as Essex. I don't know what you've got today, isn't it? <laughs> OK, well, thank you very much for the moment. Sam's going to stay there, and Mark is uh, being replaced by Marion Bartley, who is going to be describing our final match of the day, which features Serena Williams and Victoria Azarenka. There she comes up court. There's Serena. And this will be a real test for the number one seed of her credentials to regain her title here at Roland Garros.